Info Factory Track for LN Extensibility Example Number 2. In this example, we're going to extend the picking display form to include the handling unit. If we look at the standard layout, we have the item number, location, description, quantity, and lot number, which needs to be picked. We want to change this so we can also add the handling unit for information for the operator to use. In order to make this extension, we need to follow these steps. Set up the user correctly. Define exactly what needs to be added to the form. Identify which LN query is being called. Identify exactly which form needs to be extended. Add the field to the form. Link the field to the LN data. Save and unload the metadata and then test. Going through these in sequence. First of all, we set up our user correctly. In order to configure the user correctly, I go to Configuration Administration Users, select my user. In this case, I'm actually using SA, but in real life, we would expect you to use your own user account and make sure the editing permissions are set to site developer. In this case, the user is also a super user. If that isn't the case, then the appropriate groups need to be assigned for permissions. We also need to check that the factory track dev license has been applied for that user. And finally, we need to check that if we look at the user preferences, that the option to unload IDEO metadata with forms is selected, at least for the duration of this example. Next, we need to define what needs to be added. For this, we need some LN knowledge. We need to know that the field to be added is WHINH225FRHU, which is the from handling unit on the outbound advice line. Next, we need to identify exactly which LN query is being called. In order to do this, we need to switch into factory track. From factory track, I'll go to site parameters and just check that the record queries in TRAN history is turned on. Then go to the main menu, start the picking transaction, scan in my order number and click next. So this will initiate the LN query to pull that information and display it. I now go to the current transaction workbench and have a look at the last query that was called. Click on the XML. So if I go here, I can see that the query that was called was number 246. And if I scroll down here, I can see that the WHINH225 from handling unit field is available in the outputs. This means that we do not need to extend the LN queries to retrieve this information and we can just make the change in the front end to display that information. The next step is to identify exactly which form needs to be extended. In order to identify the form to be changed, I need to go into Transaction Set Maintenance and check for the picking transaction which LN transaction it is calling. So I see it is LNWM picking. I then go to transaction setup. And look for the name of the form that LNWM picking is using. And this is LNWM picking .mobi. So this is the mongoose form that I need to be changing. So I'm going to open the designer. I'm going in in site default mode. And I'm going to open in design mode the picking transaction. So LNWM picking.mobi. First thing I need to do in this case is look at the components. And I'll see here these are the different pages that are displayed as part of the picking transaction. The page I'm interested in is the LN picking list form, which displays line one, line two, line three, and so on and so forth. So in this case, we're actually changing a multi-line display. In Mongoose terms, these are created as grids where the components are linked to tiles. So we highlight the grid which needs to be changed and then go to miscellaneous, specific attributes and we see it's a tile form. And here we see the actual name of the tile form, LNWM picking list tile. This is the form that we're gonna to need to actually physically be changing. In this case, we're going to add 
the handling unit to the display. For this to work we need to check that the handling unit is already linked to the grid, even if it's not displayed. In order to do this we click on the icon in the top left. This form displays the fields which are available to be included in the tile. If we scroll down here we can see that from handling unit grid column is there. So this means it's already linked and we don't need to add it. If we click on it and see its data source, we can see that this field is bound to the correct address, which is the WHINH225 from handling unit. If it is not included, then we need to add a new component to the grid, binding it to the correct field in the query. In this case, we don't need to do that because it is already bound. Next, we need to open the tile form. So we go to design. In this case, it's LNWM picking list tile and click on OK. So this shows us the actual layout that, that is currently there. If we knew we didn't need lot numbers, then we could just get rid of the lot number field. But for this example, I'm going to add the handling unit as a separate field. The first thing I need to do is select the tile, go to its layout, and go to its size. Currently, it's set to 38 width and 8 height. Don't change the width because otherwise that will compromise, but we can change the height. I'm going to change it to a 10. So this just means that it's now 10 deep. As I say, if we were getting rid of the lot number, we maybe wouldn't need to change the height number. We could just remove the lot number field and add the handling unit in its place. So now we've more real estate to play with. So the first thing we need to do now is to add a prompt onto, this, onto the screen. So we're going to add a static field. I'm just going to post it here. So I'm just going to give it a name, which is handling unit static. And I'm going to give it a caption. I'm going to use this standard string that we use throughout, which is SL, SLN handling unit. And we're going to give it an appearance of WM static, a theme class of WM static. And we're just going to justify it to the left and save that. The form should now look like this. Next, we need to add the actual data to the form. We were adding a static field. So we add it and we paint it alongside the string we've just created. And we're going to give it a name of HU edit. It doesn't require a caption, but we're going to give it a theme, which is WM static tile. Change the justification to left. And then we're going to go to data source, binding. And we're going to select property. And we're going to give it a binding, which is Object WH INH two two five from handling unit. Then we go to miscellaneous specific attributes, select no colon, change that to true, and save that. So we identified the form to extend, we've added the field to the form, we've linked the field. Next we need to save and unload the metadata. So I've saved the information, I close down these, go here and go to the go to definition unload or global form objects. If I was in the cloud I would use the unload farm IDO metadata to unload the farm IDO metadata and the form BOD metadata. In this case, I'm on premise, so I don't need to do that. But now if I go back to the picking transaction, start again, key in my order number, click next, then it shows up with my item, location, description, quantity, lot, and the handling unit. So this completes this extension where we were adding some information that was already available in the display into a multi-line display form.